Natasha. Welcome to a lift and flow class. We'll be using dumbbells today. We'll do 10 reps of a dumbbell exercise followed by a Pilates sequence um, that will flow together and go through a few times as well. So let's get started with a quick warm up and we'll get right into it to the dumbbell exercise, flow, and keep alternating between the two. All right, give those wrists a shake. Twist your bottle, and then flick off that water. Link those fingers, faster and faster. Soften the knees, draw the belly towards the spine, lengthen the tailbone, and lift up through the crown of the head. Blink a little bit faster, Ooh, feel the forearms burning. And then let's do a little backstroke. You can step as you swing back. Big, full circle, stay on the right arm, and then just kind of wind it up. Swing it back a few times, lubricating that shoulder joint, other side. Circle it back. Good, and then give me a little crisscross here. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good job for being here today. Four more. You can rock on the toes and the heels at the same time. All right, then we're gonna pedal high, low, alternating like this little march on the ball of the foot. Pull the belly in, reach high through the crown of the head, and just articulating on those feet. Barefoot is good, but if you prefer shoes, that's fine too. All right, inhale, stretch the arms up, cactus the elbows, heart up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, cactus, and exhale, fold. Bringing in some flexibility into the hamstrings, lengthen the spine, and then engage the shoulders, stretch the heart up, chest, Shoulders, squeeze the hip flexors forward, quads lengthen, and fold. Two more. And fold. Last one. Pry the elbows apart and push back right here. Let's build a little heat. Little tricep kickback, flat back. Knees can be soft. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Same thing. Arms overhead. Reaches. Little pulses up. Let's go ahead and bend the knees here. Bring your belly towards your thighs and pulse for three, two, one. Can we drop into a low squat, stretching the Achilles tendon and the ankles? You bring your fingertips, toes and heels right here. See if you can soften and land the heels. It's okay if it doesn't happen. Tip toes and heels. Hands down, quick downward facing dog, that same pedaling march, high, low, high, low. Stretching calves, hamstrings. Good, that side body of the lats, we can rock and twist a few times. Twist, twist, either popping it over or just lifting the heels and stepping over. Four, three, two, one, body roll. Roll forward to plank. Arch back to down dog. Cat forward, cow back. Cat forward, inhale, exhale. This time widen your feet, mat width. Cat forward, swing those hips through. Up dog rock, chest proud, shoulders down and back. Should not bother this, the back. Just breathe here. Exhale, down dog. So obviously don't go as deep if that felt too intense on the low back. Let's do that one more time. Cat forward, swing hips through. Exhale, round, send it back. Quick drop on the knees, child's pose, wiggle the hips. Take a little walk off one side, stack your shoulder, rock off the other side, walk, and then try to twist and stack. All right, come on back to center. <laughs> Tuck your toes, forward fold, hang, and then rag doll up. All right, I'm gonna throw my hair up, get ready. I'm not gonna time the drills. We'll just go through about 10 reps or so, and then we'll do the flow two to three times, depending on how we're feeling, all right? So set yourself up, water, towel, and your weights. This first set, um, will be kind of a warm up flow. So we'll do a deadlift, a deadlift with a row, and then a bicep curl. Start with your feet about 
hip distance apart, spread those toes, anchor down. Take the weights side by side, flat back, depending on your flexibility, maybe all the way down or just to where your hamstrings tell you, that's it. Here we go. Deadlift, drive up with a flat back. Deadlift, row, lift, and then bicep curl. Put it down, reset. Deadlift, squeeze it up. Deadlift with a row, think 90 degree elbows to the side, and then lift those palms inward for your bicep curl. Repeat, one deadlift, deadlift with a row, bicep curl palms in. Continue, flat back deadlift, deadlift row, bicep curl. It's okay to use a little momentum if you're using heavy weights. I have 10 pound weights on me, here we go. Add your row, so this is more of a side. Uh, I'll show you from the front. So we have that deadlift. We keep the weight side by side and we row the elbows out. Then we bicep curl, flip the palms in. All right, continue a couple more reps. Warming up, add your row. You don't have to keep my pace. You can just get the pattern and take it at your own timing. Deadlift, squeeze booty, flat back, row, lift, curl. Couple more. Curl. All right, last one. Deadlift, add your row, add your curl. Nice job. Set those weights down. We're gonna come onto our knees. All right, take a moment, circle out those shoulders, shake out those hands. All right, here's the flow. We're starting on the knees, a hip hinge forward and a hip hinge back. So we'll do a fold and then a hinge. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands behind your head. Draw your belly, ribs in. Fold, kind of a balancing um, child's pose. Maybe nose to mat. And thrust. Lean back, stay here. Reach your right hand back, make a diagonal. Maybe reach back for the heel. If you can reach for the heel, we'll swing into a little camel. You can also tuck your toe under to make it a little more accessible. Find your camel, release your toe diagonal, and then bring your palms back behind your head. That's the sequence. Fold, hinge, diagonal, left arm back. Maybe tuck the left toes under, reach for the heel, swing the hips forward as you bring the arm around and heart up. Bring it back the way you came from, both arms out behind the head. Fold, hinge, right hand swings back, tuck your right toes, grab your heel, and then circle sweep your arm, maybe cactus the elbow. Pull your chest and heart up. Swing it back around and reset. Hinge forward, lean back, left arm, tuck left toes, make a connection, heels palm to heel, Heel and then swivel, cactus, heart up. Push the weight out of here, barely touching the heel. Lift, come back, reset. Two more times. Hip hinge, forward fold, hinge back, lean. Right arm back, tuck right toes. Swing the hips forward, make a circle around. Camel, come back, stack your hips. Shoulders over your hips. Hands behind the head, last one. Full thrust. Hinge, stay. Tuck left toes. Reach diagonal, connect heel, palm to heel. Swivel the arm in a circle. Camel stretch up. Swing it back and set. All right. That was your round one. Moving into our second set of our dumbbells and then our Pilates flow. So we're gonna come, bring our weights, come back on our knees, 
And this time we'll be in a hovering tabletop position. We're probably gonna get some cardio in here. We're gonna take a, I'll just show you with the knees down. One elbow row, and then jump in, jump out. Row, jump in, jump out, okay? So 10 times the elbow rows up the side of the ribs. Set yourself up, hover the knees. Row, jump, jump. Row, jump, hover. Right, hop it in, hop it back. Left, another option would be to jump forward on one foot. So put the weight down, keep the hand up, then set it down. Row, hand up, jump forward, set it back. Row, jump, hover. Row, jump, hover. If you need a moment to just drop on the knees, we have four more to go. Scoop into the belly, hover the knees. Row, jump, jump. Three, jump, jump. Two, maybe on one hand. Row, jump, hover, land. Okay. Feel free to go through this class two times through so you can hit each exercise twice. I'm just going to go through it once today. Set your weight off to the side. The next sequence is a plank walk, side plank to forearms plank series. So just listen to the cues. I'll cue you right through it. Heart is high. Take a deep breath in. Ragdoll. Exhale. Walk forward. Plank. Open the right hand to side plank. Thread the needle three. Under the body, arm up. Right arm swings under, hips kind of lower and then stack. One more. This time when you thread, we drop to the forearm. Right forearm, open to the left. Now, dip and thrust. Three, swing hips up. Two, hips down, hips up. One, come back, left hand down, back to your side plank to the right, and then a chaturanga push up, or knees, chest, chin, walk back. That was the first round. Now we have to do it on the left, opening to the left. Ragdoll, walk out, hit your plank, Side plank, thread the needle, three, twist it down, hips lower, hips stack, hips swing down, and stack, lower to the forearm. Your hips dip and thrust, three, two, one, right top hand down, open back up to the left, chaturanga push up in the middle, Pilates style, elbows to ribs, or the triceps, ragdoll up. We'll do that two more times. Tuck the chin, ragdoll. Maybe a little quicker, open to the right, thread. Three, two, one. This time when you thread, you land on the forearm. Shoulder is strong, push away from the ear. Now dip the hips, four, three, two, down and up, back to the top hand, left hand down, right side plank, chaturanga or tricep, push up, lift, walk back, ragdoll up, all right, to the left, open to the left, plank walk, hit your plank, spread your fingers, protract the shoulders, Open to the left, thread the needle. Three, two, we breathing. One, this time rotate all the way down to forearm. Keep the integrity of the shoulder and then hips down up. Four, three, your range of motion. Two, one, top arm replaces side plank on hands, chaturanga, or you could do a knees, chest, chin, walk back. All right, this will be our final set before we go back to the weights. Ragdoll, open to the right. Hit your plank, right, thread. Three, 
two, one, thread and lower to forearm, hip dip, four, three, two, one, top hand down, open back to the right, push up in the middle, crawl yourself back, ragdoll, any little shakes, circles of the wrist, counter stretch, and our final opening to the left. Plank walk, open left, thread the needle. Three times, the fourth one lowers you down. One, lower to the forearm. Hip dip, four, up. Sink and lift, three, two, one. Top hand, right hand down, left hand opens. Push up, walk back. Ragdoll yourself up. Okay, next one. We're gonna be on the knees again. If it ever feels like you need to get a softer mat, maybe double or triple up um, when you're in kneeling positions, always listen to your body. If you have a very thin mat, probably won't feel good to be on the knees and, and elbows a lot. So. Again, listen to your body. This will be a hip thrust to a bicep curl. Step forward to a push press. I'll show you first. We're gonna swing, curl, push, step. Bring it in, little swing. So swinging hip hinge, curl, push press. Okay, 10 times, starting with the right foot stepping forward. So we'll hinge and swing, curl. Step forward, right, bring it in. Swing, curl left, push press. Swing, hinge and curl, right foot. Step it in. Hinge, curl, swing, left foot. That lunge can be whatever you want to take it. If you want to use it like a stretch and step and then sink the hips, or you want to just keep a nice neutral spine, 90-90 knees. Hand, Swing, curl, step, in. Swing, curl, step, thrust it down. Four more here. Four. Three. Woo. Two. Last one. All right, set that down. Have a seat. Our Pilates flow will be starting in a crab position. So you'll do what's best for your wrists, whether you wanna turn the fingers outward, back. All right, it'll be a crab, toe tap, crab, reach. Extend this right foot back, down, hip thrust like a reverse Plank and then abdominal roll for two. Okay, just a quick preview. Get yourself ready. Probably bring the fingers kind of backwards or towards the side of your mat. Here we go. Hovering table. Hips up, opposite toe tap. Tap right toes. Hips still hovering. Crab reach. Press into the fingertips, lift the hips. Now step this right foot out, lower. Lift, kind of like a wild thing, but reverse plank. Sit, right toes up. Roll down, keep the shoulders off the mat, roll up. Roll down the spine, roll up the spine. Reset for the left side. Hovering table, tap your left toe with your right hand, hover. Take your crab reach. Single arm reverse table. Extend left leg and then sit and swing. Hips up, hips down. Have a seat, lift the left leg. Knees are pretty much aligned. They don't have to touch though. Roll back, roll straight spine. Round the spine, roll down. Try and keep the shoulders and head off, arms by ears. Exhale, we lift. 
Okay, two more rounds just like that. Hover, tap, reach. Step wide, down, up. So right leg is now lengthened. That's kind of like a cross between a wild thing and a reverse plank. Lift right leg up, Pilates roll down. Exhale, lift, lower, like a single leg teaser, and lift. Hover, left toe tap, swing, crab reach. Step the left foot, wiggle it out long, dip and thrust, hamstring glute activation. Land, sit, extend left toes up, Pilates roll down, exhale lift. Try not to use momentum, but if you need to swing your arms a little bit into it, that's okay. Last round. Crab, right, left hand to right toes. Left hand overhead, swing hips up. Step the right foot out, dip and thrust. Dip and thrust. Sit, extend right leg up. Roll back. Exhale, lift. Roll back. And exhale, squeeze to lift. Last round. Left leg lifts, right hand grabs. Then we swing the hips up, crab reach. Step the left foot forward. Sit, lift, sit, lift. Heart to sky, sit, left leg up. Roll down, squeeze to lift. Roll down, squeeze to lift. Beautiful job. Okay, breathe. We're gonna go squat, alternate, push press, squat, push press, and then we'll take a forward fold to a little tricep kick back and you're gonna try to releve, releve. So if you're using 10 pounds or more, that kickback's gonna be quite hard. Just do what you can, it doesn't have to go way back there. Just engage the triceps. All right, take a little moment and pick up the weights. We'll bring them into a rack position. Palms up, weights right by shoulders. So touch shoulders, elbows pull into right. Squat right, squat left, forward fold, tricep kickback, releve on toes. All right, here we go. Squat, right, squat, left. Weights down, forward fold, kick back, releve, kick back, releve, rack. Got it? Squat, right, squat, left. Let the weights go, forward fold. Swing onto the toes, push the weights behind you, okay? Then rack and lift, squat, Right, squat, left, release, fold, swinging, kick back, releve. You can bend the knees, that's fine, lift. Squat, right, squat, left, soft knees, bring the hands down. Fold, here we go, rock onto the toes, push the palms back, rack, Woo. squat. Right, squat, left. Catch the weight, release it down. Fold, press, heel, toe, and rack. Keep it going. Right arm, left arm, catch, lower, fold. Swing two, swing one. Let's just do one more set. Rack, squat, right, squat, Left, catch, lower, fold. Swinging, kick back, two, one. Oh, set the weights down. All right, you can always pause, take a moment, drink water, walk around. If you recover, heart rate's probably high. You could come to this resting position, hands on quads, take some nice deep breaths, you can walk around. All right, next one is going to be a standing series. We'll take a plie side bend, a triangle um, side bend with straight legs, then all the way down to the mat. So bend the knees, step back. Kick through, inner thigh leg lifts, knee down, outer thigh leg lifts, and then we'll step 
back to the top. Okay, quick preview. Let's get into it. Open up those legs. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Plie side bend to the right. You can touch elbow to knee or beyond. Then side bend without the plie. Triangle or windmill. <laughs> Lost my balance there. Down and up. This time bending as deep as you need to to touch the ground and swing the leg through. Kick through inner thigh. Four, three, two. Put that right knee down. Left leg abducts. Four, three, two. One step on the left and then reset to stand. Go to your left. Plie side bend. Straight leg side bend. Bend the knees. Hand down, kick back foot through. Left foot's gonna lift. Four, three, two, one. Swing it under the hip. And then right leg lifts. Four, three, two, one. Step on it. Drive up. Two more rounds to the right. Plie side. Straight leg side bend. Straight leg to the floor. Kick that right foot through. Inner thigh, you can lift and lower the whole hip or just the leg, and then outer thigh. Full range of motion, step forward, stand. Go left, plie side bend, straight leg side bend, straight leg kick through, left foot hip raise or just leg lift. Four, spread the fingers, push the shoulder down, swing the leg back, Right leg abductor, outer thigh. Three, two, one, step on it. Start again, last set. Down, up, straight, lift to the floor. Kick through, kick it up. Four, three, two, one. Knee down abduct, four, three, two, one, step. We go to the left, plie side bend, straight leg side bend, or soft knees, mostly straight, bend as much as you need to. Kick that left foot through, four leg raises, inner thigh, abduction, knee down, outer thigh, abduction, two, one, step, stand, last time right left. Plie side bend, straight leg triangle, Hand down, kick the back, the right foot through. Lift lower, four, three, two, one. Swing the knee under the hip. Left leg, four, three, two, one. Step, stand to the left, last time. Plie, triangle to the floor. Kick that left foot through, four, inner thigh. And four, outer thigh. Leg lift, three, more, two, one. Step and stand. Beautiful job, back to the weights. This will be our final series. This time, if you have something, you can put your shoulders up for some hip thrusts, a couch, a chair, um, something just to elevate your body. I'm gonna use my feet up prop. It'll be a shoulder press hip thrust, and then a skull crusher, elbow bend and straighten, okay? So something that can hold your weight. Bring your shoulder blades over it, and you'll keep your chin tucked forward. So we have sink the hips, thrust the hips. Let's do two shoulder press, then turn the weights and skull crusher right by the side of the head. All right, dip, thrust, dip, thrust, turn parallel, skull crusher, elbows high, then they flip again. Bend, thrust hips, straighten, they go up. The hips melt and they thrust. Parallel, turn the weights, palms in, skull crusher, and lift. Couple more rounds. Take it on your own pace. Squeeze the bite at the top. 
skull crusher. We keep that pelvic pelvis lifting. We push into the feet. Keep going. You could put your head back if you have something available on the skull crusher part. Just go for as many rounds as you can. Be mindful. Last set for me. Have a seat and set those weights down. Just for fun, let's do a couple more of these um, hip thrusts. You can support the head, dip, thrust, dip, thrust. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven. You can tap your booty on the floor, six, five, exhale, squeeze to rise, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Set that prop aside. Set your weights aside. All right, we have a little tr traditional Pilates series where we will start with single leg stretch, moving into crisscross, straight leg stretch to bridge, legs up and over, teaser up. Sounds like a lot. You got this. All right, eight of everything, three rounds. Start with your right knee to your nose, left hand on your right quad. Eight switches, roll the shoulder blades off the mat, forced exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind your head, right elbow to left knee. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Lift yourself a little higher, double pulse. Now bend the left knee, head down, swing hips up. Switch, left leg, grab on, double pulse. Step on the right foot, hip thrust, head can land. All right, that's the sequence, six more. Double, left foot down, hips thrust up. Left foot up, double pulse, right foot down, head down, hips up, does that make sense? Switch into your L, grab on, double pulse, and then left foot down, hip thrust. Left leg high, you could pulse without hands. Step on the right, thrust the hips. Or you could grab onto that leg, pulse, pulse, step, thrust. Whew. Pulse, pulse, step, thrust. Let's do two more, double split, Step, double, hip thrust. Left leg, double, pulse, step, double, hip thrust. Keep the head down. Legs up and over the head. Slow lower, and then teaser up to high V rote. All right, two more like that. Legs up and over. Slow lower, body rolls up. Balance at the top, one more time. Legs up and over, slow, lower, and V. That was set one, we're gonna do that two more times. Whew. Any little tension in the neck, if you just wanna roll it out, make the abdominals do the work, not the neck. Stretch it out, think of curling the shoulders off the mat so that weight of your head isn't holding you back. Back to our single leg switches. You can always put the head down as well if you're just feeling it a little too much. Here we go. Start with the right leg. Eight, seven, six, four, three, stretch, two, one. Elbow to knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, twist, twist, stay. Split the legs. Double pulse, step, double thrust. Switch, double pulse, step, double thrust, switch. So let's keep the hands behind the head, pulse in the split, step down, thrust. Switch the split, crunch it up, two, step, bridge, pulse, two. Right leg up, double crunch, step, double pulse, lift. Left leg up, right foot steps down, left leg up, bridge, two. Couple more, double, double, 
it's okay if you're not working at my pace. Just keep going with the pattern. This will be our last round here of the straight leg to bridge. Left leg up, straight leg crunch, bridge. All right, now we have three leg up and over. So your hands can stay forward or back and you could try to touch your wrists, your fingers, the floor, roll back, tuck the chin and then high V teaser. Roll, try not to use too much momentum. Make this work. Squeeze the quads, lift the spine. One more here. Slow. Lift. Okay. All right. So last time, I know we're probably feeling this. Take some deep breaths. The three sets with a lot going on. All right. Quick stretches in between and our last time through. Single leg bent knee switch. Come on down, right knee to nose. Here we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right elbow, left knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, one. Straight leg. Double pulsing crunch. Step, double pulsing crunch. Left leg lift. Double crunch. Double hip thrust. Woo. Eight more. Double. Double, left leg up, double, double, we got it, six, do the best you can if you're not doing exactly what I'm doing, it doesn't really matter, here's four more, double L, double bridge, three, oh yeah, two, And one. Here are our legs up and over. Squeeze. Slow lower. To high boat. V up teaser. Two more. Roll. Overhead tap. Roll. Teaser up. Last one. Swing those legs up and over. Slow, lower, catch your V at the top. Roll like a ball for three. Bend the knees in, you can hold onto your hamstring, straighten out the spine at the top, three. Freeze that momentum by engaging the core, two, and one. If you have it in you, we're gonna roll to plank, push up. Roll, open up the feet, hands down, plank, chaturanga. Can we try that again? Jump. Roll, hands down, push up, last one, roll, push up, upward facing dog, stretch out that belly, come down to cobra, or let's do sphinx, elbows down, under shoulders, pull the mat backwards, stretch out the abdominals, we did a lot, big breath in, as you exhale, tuck the toes. One last zip up, forearm plank. <laughs> Hold here. Three, two, one. Step forward. Dolphin. Look forward. Pop up onto the hands. Downward facing dog. Beautiful job here. Take a couple rounds of breath and down dog. Maybe swaying, shaking out anything. Head, feet, hips. All right, really quick stretch, right foot outside of right hand as you lift the right hand up, lizard. Step back, down dog, lizard left, your hand can lift, bounce, bounce. One more time, lizard, this time a little half split rock back. Lizard, step back, left foot, replaces left hand, rock back, try to straighten legs. Flex the front toes if you can. Woo! Let's step forward. Head hangs heavy. Find your hands at the base of the skull. Sway like a pendulum side to side. And then twist like you're trying to peek 
under the armpit in front of you for four, three, two, one. Ragdoll yourself up the middle. Take a deep breath in. Bring your palms to heart center. Take a humble bow of gratitude. Give yourself thanks and appreciation for doing such an awesome job today. Thanks for working out with me. I will see you next time. Bye.